Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to the series premiere of Madden 17 Not Top 10 Plays of the Week. All the funny fails, all the weird glitches of Madden 17 are about to get exposed. So far so good for this play, Shazier about to get a pick 6, but he celebrates too early, shoved out of bounds, and the ball is recovered by the offense giving them life in that game. You gotta wait before you celebrate. Play number 9, we're about to see a little bit more of the same thing. In a close game, quarterback rolling out, here comes the pressure, and it's picked off by Sam Ocho. He's got a clear pass, but he celebrates, fumbles it, and... And it's going to be a touchback. Just play with grace, people. Now, play number eight. Rules are rules. This is just a straight-up mistake. This is a punt after a safety. Now, the rule is that if the team that punts the ball picks it up without this team touching it, the receiving team, it ends up being a touchdown. You can't let the ball go in that situation. You gotta go and get it. Now, that's just three points right there. Giving up. This one, though, is... Very confusing. So you guys see, he gets the interception. There's a fumble that wasn't really a fumble. So the boot's going to look at that, and they're going to overturn it and say, the ball wasn't really fumbled, but it doesn't matter. The Seahawks should get the ball, right? And they do. But they get the ball at four down and three. Yeah? Is that really how the rule works? The Seahawks get four down and three after getting an interception? Not really. I don't know what Madden was thinking right there. And I don't know what this guy was thinking, because that's a safety in the corner. Just let the ball go. Oh, that's a bonehead mistake. Now we go to play number five. There is nothing you can really do about this one, except maybe not motion the receiver around, because that is just weird. The snap is just going nowhere. That's recovered by the defense. This is a pretty epic play. Here goes D'Angelo Williams about to win the game with no time left. Swerve him, and this should be the game, right? But this is not top 10 plays of the week. So he is going to be tackled at the one or two yard line. Oh, what a heartbreaker with no time left. Now play number three, piling it on. This guy's already down. He's trying to get back in the game, taking a shot. It's incomplete and it bounces off at a pylon for an interception. It was going to go incomplete, but the pylon kept it in and McDougal gets it. Play number two. This is epic. The clock is winding down. Fourth down and goal. Pitching it. CJ Anderson for the win, but it is fumbled. Do not celebrate. Just win with grace. This guy loses. Oh, you got to slap yourself in the face for that one. Now, play number one. This is just straight up funny. Watch Zach Martin glitching out on the field. What is going on? Here comes Zach. He forces the fumble on Dak. It's recovered by the offense. But what in the world is this? Zach Martin is glitching out on the field and tackles his own quarterback and forces a fumble. Oh, man. Oh, man. Easily the number one play. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any feedback for this series, let me know. If you want to submit your own plays, that email is in the description. Definitely want to see, a, hopefully, a lot of submissions so we can keep this series going. So, that email's there. Any submissions are appreciated. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.